Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, what in the heck is happening? Okay. That, wow, all right. Uh, yeah, I was just feeding the pups before bed. We still have all of them, goodness. I hadn't sent them into the grass yet because they were all eating and I think they're all up to f their right amount of food now. But my goodness, those coyotes came out of nowhere. I, the snow, you know, I love the snow, but I can't see a darn thing in it. Uh, it is very hard to, to, to see because there's just so much visual input. It's a little bit hard to pick out anything that's happening, especially with all the snow falling down. So this is not the best conditions to be hanging around in. That said, I think we're going to finish eating here and then we'll, uh, then we'll rest the night and, and kick this off for real. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We're here with Meander Pack, who's doing all right after that coyote attack. I'm trying to see if I smell anything scary on the wind, because I don't think we do. We are still on the move. Let's actually feed these guys and then get some more food before we leave, because we've got this carcass here. We don't want to waste this. Uh, we had a hard enough time feeding the pups. Oh, Havoc, why don't you come out and, uh, and eat some food here? Uh, but we had, okay, we had a hard enough time feeding him the last time, so we want to make sure we definitely take advantage of this carcass before we have to leave. Oh, goodness, I think we interrupted the pups from eating. Uh, the territory is not great. It's really not. We need to claim some of this. We want to reclaim some of this. Eventually, we want to claim some of the stuff that's down here. Uh, it's, it's not as good as it could be. It definitely could be better. And where is Malarkey? Malarkey's over there. Okay, she's with Calamity. Uh, but yeah, that, that coyote attack was a little bit intense. I think that kind of startled Mayhem. And that's just, uh, that's just a raven in the distance there. Uh, it definitely beats the eagle attack. He's very not fond of those. But as long as we can get these guys well fed, which I think they're pretty close. Okay, no, Havoc needs to eat. Goodness. Please, please eat your food, sir. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. The problem is they're gonna all start moving if I move. <laughs> all right, there we go. Uh, we've got all four pups. I think the snow is gonna melt soon and we should be good to head out on our way. Oh, that is an eagle. Hold on, where's the nearest grass patch? Oh, that's also an eagle. Oh my goodness, okay. I really want everyone down here in the grass. I really want everyone down here in the grass. I've got a bad feeling about this. Guys, please go in the grass now. Grass now. Grass now. Okay, maybe it'll leave us alone. So the first order of business, I think, is that we're going to head over here and try to reclaim this and these or at least reinforce them. Uh, in fact, maybe I'll run on ahead and do that, I think. Oh, there is a, uh, a deer here as well. I think I'm going to have Mayhem briefly run over here and we'll let the pups rest for a bit. I did notice, too, they actually only get up to like 50% or not 50, but 60 to 70% wakefulness, even with two full sleeps. So they don't uh, they don't re regain their exhaustion as fast as the adults do, I think, because that'll get you up to 100%. So that's important to note. That's why they've been so tired constantly, and I hope they'll regain some of that. Um, but I think... Oh, those are coyotes. <laughs> I was like, is there stranger wolves here? Oh, there is! Excuse me! Hold on. Who are you? Prospect Peak 2F. What are you doing in my territory? What are you doing in my territory? I'm gonna grab your tail and take it off if you're not careful here. Why are you in my territory? I, I thought I heard Stranger Wolf music. What are you doing here? This is not your territory. Do you need a reminder of whose territory this is? Because I will give you one. You're probably the reason my territory is decaying. And you were headed straight for my pups. And growling at me while I hunted and ate in my own territory. What's wrong with you? No. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think we're going to be able to actually take her down, but Mayhem's going to give her a good what for here and uh, remind her, stay the heck out of my territory. Now she's going into the territory that we actually need to reclaim. Oh, and there's a plastic cooler somewhere over here. But yeah, that would be why our territory is dropping. Holy smokes. All right, let's, let's pee on this, reclaim this, and then we'll head back to the puppies because this should get up to 100%, and we're going to bring them down through this area here, and eventually we will try and reclaim that, but that's going to have to be once the floods slow down, or once they kind of... Not slow down. Once the flood waters recede, 
because otherwise we're going to have a much harder time trying to get the pups across. Okay, that's a bald eagle. Still don't think Mayhem entirely likes them, but he does know that they won't go after his pups. They don't scare him as much as the golden eagles, though, so I think he's ready to bring these guys back out in the open and get back off on our way here. Okay, we've just about made it to the territory down here. Where do we put our scent post? It's not all the way across, is it? There, There is a spot on this side, surely. Well, there's the territory over there as well. Oh, there was coyotes near here, too. We gotta be mindful of that. But we've just about made it to the territory over here. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where is this? Do we have to cross to get to this? Oh, I don't really want... Oh, no, I don't want... Guys, get out of the water, please. The puppies are floating away. All right, let's go back in the grass. Let's go in the grass quickly. <laughs> Mayhem's looking down at Havoc there. All right, I want to figure out what's going on here because there could be... But I think the scent post might actually be across. Unless there's an area down here where it's a little bit easier to see. I don't know. And I don't see it on the other bank either. Oh... Uh, yeah, I think it might be I think it might be across here. All right, let's try and swim it. The good news is we're getting very close to the part of the year where we can find babies. We're ready to head to the rendezvous site where the floodwaters start to go down. The pups have, are actually 13 to 14 pounds already pretty much. Okay, somewhere around here. Is it right up here? Okay, yes. Where is this scent post? Right over here. That's not the one that goes all the way to that side. Oh, it is. Okay. All right. We have to go down. Then that that is that scent post over there. Oh, I didn't jump into the water very well. All right. It is that scent post that we're seeing over there. I just didn't realize it was the same hex that goes all the way to that side. So we can still mark it on this side. We just got to bring our pups down the riverbank. But yeah, we're getting pretty close. Uh, when we get out of the water here, I'll show you guys. It's really... We're not that far off. So it looks like Havoc is our smallest and he's already up to 13 and Anarchy's already over 14. So we are very close to being at the time of year when it's going to be a lot easier to take care of ourselves, especially on a move like this. And the good news about that too is the pups will be safe from eagles. They'll be too big to carry so I think Mayhem is really looking forward to it. Oh, who's getting left behind? Who's in the water? Hold on, Havoc, are you swimming? Havoc! Are you swimming? No. Okay, they just got kind of a little bit left behind, I see. All right, guys, let's keep going this way. Uh, you gotta keep up here, or, you know, oh, we're getting tired. All right, we can't, we can't go that much further then. We're gonna have to... Uh, they might actually force us to stop here now that I'm seeing this. Uh, I want to get as close though as we can to the scent post because it's just up there and this will put us near a beaver hunting ground that could be useful for tomorrow. And I'm hearing a lot of wolf howls so we gotta be careful. I don't know if somebody's creeping up on us. Okay, Mr. Deer, please stay out of here. Mr. Deer, Mr. Deer, yeah, this is the same deer that was, uh, that was galloping around back a minute ago. Okay, yeah, guys, come on, please. Guys, come on. Really? Really? Can we go just a little tiny bit farther? Can we go up to this one? We're, they're so slow right now. Oh my goodness. Alright, I guess this is close enough. We'll just get them to this, uh, this grass patch here, and then we can run on ahead. That is the thing, is the pups get tired a lot more quickly than the adults do, so, hmm, that, that can be a bit of an issue at times. But we'll go ahead, we'll go mark that scent post, and then I think we'll rest the night, let these guys uh, get ready to travel again, and then loop around back up, perhaps? Or, depending on if the floodwaters start to go down, maybe we'll be able to make it across, we'll see. Oh, do you look at that? A lot has happened, and one of the things that has is that the floods have gone down. Okay. And I don't know if that means that there is a baby somewhere around here. Actually, I think there might be. This is going to make things a lot easier. Did malarkey scare you towards your child? Is that what's happening here? 
Is this a doe? This is a doe. I bet that that does mean you have a baby somewhere, right? Maybe? Is it in the rendezvous site? This is technically a rendezvous site. We're not gonna stay at it, we're gonna keep moving, but I think we're gonna actually take the pups across. No, I can't tell if she's got a baby around here somewhere. I thought maybe she was going to one of these grass patches, but I don't think so. I don't think so? No, it doesn't sound like it. All right, but let's actually get these guys across. They're up to, at least they're at 80% right now. Uh, and we might actually be able to feed them. Especially if you go down here to the water and get a drink, we might be able to uh, might be able to get them get them some food here, which would be good. Don't run all the way over to me at the edge here, though. Okay, let's give them some food. And how are they doing on their size? Okay, almost 14. Havoc is almost 14, and Anarchy's already past 15 pounds. So this is good news. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. Oof! I don't like that there are bison over here. All right, I think. Goodness. The problem is, I don't... Uh, we're gonna have to skirt between crossing and bison, I think. And that's a beaver over there. Alright. Oh, we've got a lot of pups in the water. Hold on. Okay, we gotta be careful here. We've got a lot of... Oh! <laughs> we got the floaters achievement for taking everybody for a swim. Goodness. Okay. What is... Okay, that's just a stump. We need to stay away from the bison. We need to get around them here. That's a deer. We should be fine. All right, I think we're good. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to, uh, are we, wait, are we, we're heading, oh, we're heading over this way. Okay, I get what, I get what the territory is looking like. Yeah, we're gonna try to claim some of this territory. Trying to keep up the whole territory is kind of a futile effort. Is that coyote trying to find a way to get across to us? I think he is. All right, where's the nearest grass? We're going to, uh, gonna woof these guys into it, because I think that coyote might be coming for us. Possibly. Or that eagle. No, it's a bald eagle, never mind. Are you thinking about how you're gonna get over to us? He is going into the water, isn't he? Is he? He is. Are all the pups back in the grass? They are. I think this coyote, although I don't see... No, he's gotten back out on the shore. He might be going on his way. No, he's trying to figure out how to get across the water there. You can see him in the distance. I don't even know if you guys can see the coyote that I'm talking about trying to figure out how to cross the river and not wanting to go for a swim, but I, I we definitely want to be keeping an eye on him because I think he might be, uh, might, might be, might be heading for our pups here, so we gotta keep a close eye out. This area is going to be a good spot to spend the summer because we have the calves and fawns now. Oh, and Malarkey's carrying mischief. All right. And that's going to make it so much easier to feed these guys because we no longer have to rely just on regurgitating. In fact, I see one over here. This very wide open space makes it really easy to spot where the mothers are. Yep. And there is indeed one right over here. This is a mule deer. Alright, so somewhere around her here she has her baby hidden. We're gonna try to find it bring it back to our babies because this is gonna make it so much easier to keep them fed. Oh, here it is. Alright, hold on. There we go. I don't even see- oh, the mother just watched. Goodness. Uh, yeah, I guess she did not want particularly to go up against a bunch of wolves there. Now that's an eagle too that we need to be careful of, but we'll bring this back. We'll let the pups eat it. And these are deer, right? Yeah, it's a deer. Why y'all trotting in this direction? Why y'all trotting in this direction? Don't you get any funny ideas about this? There is a Oh no, 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 Hello? Ma'am? Don't. Don't you dare. Do not. Um. Um. So, this is happening. Um. Yeah, this is not great. Um, this is not great. Pups? Pups? Can we not have you watching this right from a g up close? Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, Mischief followed our instructions of going back into the grass. Goodness. 
Oh, what in the world? Well, she just wiped out. I mean, I don't really want to hunt right now. We have a baby. All right, if you're gonna keep your distance, you just don't come after my babies. I thought she was gonna come for her pups for a second there, uh, in some vengeance from taking our, her baby. Uh, I think we're fine. Malarkey, why don't you come have some food? You wanna have some food? Have some food. I'd like Malarkey to finish this because the pups are not hungry either. Um... Yeah, that was an event, but I think she'll leave us alone now. All right, I guess we'll bring the calf with us then. We can't go very fast anyway, so we may as well. But we're just heading in this direction. Uh, we're going to be going into Stranger Wolf territory is the thing. And this, look at this, is going down again. I, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's not getting claimed, but it just feels like a lot is happening in that area. So, hmm. Oh, the pups are starting to... Pups are starting to scatter a little bit. All right. Uh, I think this will be a good place to leave them, probably. Anarchy is incredibly far away. Pups, please go back in the grass here. Please go back in the grass here now. Now. Uh, we're going to go back for Anarchy. Okay, she is on her way. I just would like for all of them to... Calamity, that includes you. Oh my goodness, it's storming. All right, we're gonna go back for Anarchy. We're gonna grab her, we're gonna bring her back. Uh, Cause she really just flopped down here, but these guys are at about 20% uh, their, of their exhaustion and I don't feel like trying to fight them the whole way. So we're just gonna leave them here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let them stay here. Oh, Anarchy, you're okay. <laughs> go back in the grass. Cause what I'd like to do if we go here is try to claim this hex that we're in cause it is technically stranger wolf territory right now. So, yeah, we're gonna try and see if we can take this over. Um, oh, right here, there we go. We'll go claim this, and then we're gonna head back, and I think, oh, there's a flashlight around here somewhere, apparently. Um, but I think that will probably be a good place to leave it off. All right, we have marked this territory. We're gonna start claiming around here because I'd like to hang out in this area. We're also gonna have to be mindful of the rendezvous sites, but we're not uh, we're not just there yet. We're waiting for Havoc to get to 13 point or to 14 pounds, I think. So probably when we sleep, we'll be able to see the rendezvous sites. But for now, I think we are just going to rest here, and then we'll worry about staying close enough to a rendezvous site that when we're done, we'll be able to then go and finish off, because the game does require you to be at a rendezvous site to complete. Uh, that said, this is a pretty open area, it's easy to see predators, it's easy to see potential food. So I think we're going to have the pack hang out here for a little bit. Uh, with that, though, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today because it is getting to be about bedtime again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.